relax. High knees exaggerated. Hop off and go. Ready, go. Get them up. High as you can. Drive the elbows back. Get those knees up. Come on, quick. 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 Woo! What a dog pound in. We uh, have this program set up for our state legislators. We're getting better every step, every movement. To lead by example and help take Mississippi from the number one ranking in obesity to the best. Good, 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 good. Moving quick, moving quick. Our workouts consist of five total stations for each group, which I consider the ultimate full body workout. We train four days a week, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. It's early morning because we know if we don't get them in here before their work day starts, we probably aren't going to see them. Come on, quick, quick. The secret of Paula Call Sports is motivation. You. Move faster. We help motivate them to be the best that they can be. Get them up quicker, quicker. Whether they're a stay-home mom. What are you waiting on, an invitation to the workout this morning? A businesswoman, a businessman, top executives, physicians. Ah. Doesn't matter what you do in life, next take level. it to the next level. One, two, three, next level! <laughs> can you please go faster this time? Watching you and only you. Same group, same thing. Ready, go. Hop off, hop off. Fast, fast, faster. Move your feet, dang it. Move them, move them. High knees, ready, go. Get them up, get them up. Move your arms. When you're working out with Paul, first of all, don't get mad about what you hear. The army taught me that. You're going to hear a lot of stuff, but he really does feel passionate about what he does. Every day, faster feet. I'm truly humbled by what I see every day. Uh, and I come out here and I see all these people here working their, their heart out. And I know what I'm here for. I know what my calling is. And I know that my calling is to push them and challenge them. All the way down, try to get that chest down. But I am truly humbled and, and I'm appreciative of them and I'm proud of them. And this, is, this is my team. These are my people and I'll do anything for them. I've had my foot on you. I've had the foot on that gas for 12 weeks. And I'm proud of you. And I told y'all about two weeks ago I loved you. And damn it, I love you. Y'all are representing the state of Mississippi. And like I've said a million times, I'm proud to be your coach. You're ready, people. Let's break it down. I love y'all. Hey, listen up. Y'all go kick some ass, okay? Right. Next level 03. One, two, three. Next level. So meantime, I'm talking to my friends about it, one of which is Jennifer Lacoste. Uh, your sister-in-law that um, and I had been to the beach with Jennifer that summer which was had to be the biggest I ever was because I have some really ginormous pictures from that trip but um, I worked out with her at the beach and she's like looked at me and she was like you could do Paul you you could do Paul and I was like she goes please she's she was so worried about me doing that surgery um, that she said please just give Paul 12 weeks I said okay I said, I will. I mean, you know, there was just no doubt about it that I, I would. I said, I'll start tomorrow. She goes, no, let me call him. You can start Monday. Right here. Oh, you got one in front, right? He's going to get rid of the weight. He's going to make you healthier. We're in the 10th week now, and I see some of these people doing things that they couldn't possibly do when they got here. I see people running three miles now and not breaking a good sweat, and that's where we're supposed to be. And working out for Paul going to give you that, even if it's just a 12-week time. You're going to get the best you're going to get. We want to know who you are. Why are you here? What are your passions? What are you trying to achieve? I, am, um, I gained a ton of weight with the pregnancy of my twins. I have three-year-old twins at home. And um, I ran a marathon two years ago trying to get the weight off, but I just never felt lean or felt like I looked like an athlete. I wanted to pick up more muscle. I wanted to be strong and have endurance to take care of my kids all day so um, I also am a different person than I was two months ago I feel like I have even more energy and now it's the norm on Saturday to get up at five in the morning <laughs> but um, I just I feel so much stronger I'm encouraged because I have given up my 
caffeine, uh, my Coke, because I was a Coke addict. So, um, and I also have reaped the benefits, the private benefits <laughs> from this program. Adrian Frascona, yes, sir. you have a very supporting husband. What did y'all have to do scheduling-wise to make this time for you as a mother, for you to have that one, one hour, hour and 30 minutes for you to segment for Adrian? Yeah, luckily they are, um, my children are still asleep when, when I get up and leave and then when I come back. The big sacrifice came with my husband because he normally would go work out in the mornings. And so he took time off from the gym. Um, he actually has a, his own weight routine that he does that incorporates a lot of uh, P90X moves, which he can he he can do and mm -hmm. keep up with. Um, and he does that in our garage at home now. And that was his sacrifice that I will get up and I will work out while you are at Paul's camp. And that way, he gets to work out and I get to work out, but the real sacrifice was on his part to be willing to step up and, and do that and, and kind of modify his workout a little bit. Um, and I need a group. Um, I am a group person. I love having the team concept. I can't go at it alone. I'm not as disciplined as he is. So um, he knew that I needed that and um, I'm forever grateful for him for saying, no, I'll take a step back so you can go, you can go do this. And he knows whose hands I'm in and, and he trusts you and, and he likes the results too. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. uh, you know, I, you've got to keep your yeah, husband yeah. happy. So, <laughs> you you've know, definitely the, done that. He, uh, he's so proud of you. Thank you. Um, it, so it took that teamwork at home, and then you came into this environment in the early morning at 5 a.m., uh, lights, a dimly lit football field, a group of 100 people that you never met before, um, and you met a lot of people. Is there any story from any of your teammates that stuck with you, that inspired you, or that motivated you during the training? Is there one person that you look at and say, wow, you know, I'm so glad that this person is my teammate. Oh, uh, well, I, I mean, all of them, really. I mean, even people that I don't know, I mean, that I see people moving up in, um, for, for the people that don't know your, your hierarchy, I guess you could say, in, your, in, in the high impact and low impact that I got moved up to line one um, with, the, with uh, you know, the fast people like Donna Bruce and, and um, uh, Julie Jackson and Tommy Savant, um, just to name a few, and Steve uh, was a new um, mm -hmm. guy there this year that were just, you know, really, really athletically strong people. And so that thrilled me to no end that I got to be there with them and it pushed me. I mean, I couldn't keep up with them initially. And so, but then by the end of the 12 week or uh, 12 week training, I could, and I knew that it was due to being pushed to that next, to the next level with them and then making um, them pushing me on and, and keep and just you're getting better and better. But you know, I see people like Daryl who you know what they've been through and Karen um, that you're about to interview and other people that are new to the program that said, you know, the, you can hear them say to other people, how long did it take you to do this? And you see them struggle initially, but then they're just, you know, grinding it out and kicking it in the tail every week and they're getting through those workouts. And that's inspiring to me. I mean, and they don't even know that they're inspiring other people. I mean, and that's what I get such a big kick out of is that you, you're you so engrossed in your line and you might not see somebody for a couple of weeks because they're over in their line, but then the next thing you know, you look at them and it's just, holy cow, it's a different person over there. Nice team, nice. Good, Neely. Good. About 100 plus pounds of weight loss. How much weight have you lost now? 117. 117 pounds, Daryl Neely. Good, good, good. Right there, man, that's leadership, good. I looked in the mirror, I saw a kick butt guy. You know, I didn't see 360 pounds. And I think sometimes as Mississippians, uh, you know, we fall into this trap of, oh, we're supposed to be big, it's the South, we eat fried foods, you know, you know it, it, we believe our own press clippings about how we should be instead of shaking and waking up and going, that's not, you know, we can be better. I didn't know I was sick. I've been sick so long. You know, I didn't know I was heavy. I've been heavy so long. During the, the Fit for Change uh, 2010, 
um, being someone that was working with the governor and in the governor's office, and you have the opportunity to now go in the morning four days a week to work out with legislators from the House and the Senate. What did you see happening during that time period um, between the governor's office and the House and the Senate? And then also standing back, being someone that was working with the governor's office, did you like seeing the interaction between the House and the Senate members? It, it, uh, the program just erased all the lines. Uh, you know, even within the office, the governor's office itself, relationships got better. Uh, you got to know someone outside of work. Uh, when it, and it relates to uh, the House members and the Senate members. Uh, it made the day, because you trained us, you know, during the winter, spring, so the legislative session was going on. It made the work day go better because you, you had just gone through hell with this guy sweating in the morning. And it, it made those uh, political issues, racial issues, regional issues just disappear. Uh, everyone started to get along better, and it was all about uh, beating Paul Lacoste versus competing in the political arena. So uh, it, it, it made you become friends with folks that you had no idea you could develop a relationship with. This, this week, from week eight, representing week eight, the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi Foundation overall legislative winner from Team House, Representative John Hines lost seven pounds. John Hines, if you could come forward and receive your check, we'd love to give it to you. There you are, baby. John will be giving his check to M. Boyd Elementary School in Greenville, Mississippi. John. Would you like to say a few things? Sometimes you go through adversity or struggle in life, you really don't understand what is the story on the other side. This journey that we've been on for the last two years has been a journey of change, commitment, and dedication. It is my prayer, it is my hope that the kind of enthusiasm that we've had in this program will take overtake this state and we'll stop being the last in childhood obesity, infant mortality rate, cardiovascular disease, and all forms of cancer. It is my hope that we'll set a standard that no one else Thank you. Great speech. Great speech. Week, week nine, and this comes at the right time after Representative Hines and Representative Gunn have spoken about her leadership. Again, the coaches continue to be amazed at Miss Alice Clark. I don't know if any of y'all know that she had a fall at her home about a week and a half, two weeks ago. She did not miss one session. She's shown up every time. Miss Alice Clark, you're an inspiration to us and what we do. You are the Effort Award for Week 9. If you could please come forward, Miss Alice Clark. I asked her if I could come down to her, and she said, oh no, get out of my way. I'm coming up there. Miss Alice Clark. Good morning. Good morning. I am surprised to get this, but I would like all of you to know that this program has definitely been an inspiration to me. It is so good to go up every day and see so many people working so hard to improve their lives. It helps all of us. You'd be surprised at the kind of people or the individuals that I say you would not expect to become friends who are now friends as a result of just walking together. Walking together can definitely make a difference in our lives. Thank each of you, and I promise I will continue to do everything I can to help everybody that I can. Thank you. When you start talking about politics in Mississippi and the state capitol, you got Republicans, you got Democrats. You would know who the Democrats are. You would know some of the Republicans and vice versa, but now, Everybody knows everybody that's affiliated with the program, whether they're Republican or not. It's not about party affiliation when that guy is trying to make that last lap around the track and he's huffing and puffing and almost can't make it. Or it might be you huffing and puffing and that person will pat you on the back and say, I'm with you, let's do it. Parties don't matter at that point. So uh, we fostered some friendships. We've talked about it, we laughed together, we've struggled together, we, we breathe hard together in the morning. 
So our relationships are a lot different now because of the program. Well, you, uh, you are obviously leading by example, right. and, and it's an honor to train you. Uh, looking, looking back on the past before this challenge took place, okay. we're currently spending over $900 million a year right. to manage exactly. obesity in the state of Mississippi. Exactly. Our, our country is spending over $354 right. billion dollars mm -hmm. a year. My goal, Kenny Wayne Jones, is to help Mississippi right. and to beat obesity. And, and it can be done. And I want to be able to come back to you and look at you and the other teammates right. that you have at the state capitol and right. say, here is this money that y'all now can do what you need to do with it. Right. And I want to give you that opportunity. And that would be wonderful because we, <laughs> with the budget constraints that we've had uh, over the last four years, there could be so much more. Right. that we could do with those dollars to help the general public other than have to fight health issues because of obesity. Obesity, um, not only on the state level, on the federal level, is being studied now just so everybody can get a grasp of what's going on. And with Mississippi saying it's an obese state, there are certain factors that we have to look at and know what's going on, uh, even as it relates to poverty, education, and everything else. It affects all of that, and and uh, we've started looking at it now. We've uh, put some poverty committees together uh, because cheaper food is not necessarily better food. Right. And uh, I see a lot. You know, it goes to the fact that we don't have nutritional foods. We don't have farmers markets. We don't have natural organic food. Uh, the big supermarkets have fresh produce, but depending on what area you're in, how far do you have to travel to get to that supermarket? Yeah. Then you got all of these little corner store institutions with pickle pig feet on the shelf. Yep. You know, and that's what you're looking to go in there and buy. You, you, I walked in one of those stores the other day, and if you notice, back there in the, where they have the... Uh, Liver cheese, yep. sauce, yep. things, uh, bologna, all the processed foods are right there together. Yep. And you can go in, and they're very cheap. You can feed a family with a big piece of bologna like this, but they don't know really how bad it's hurting the family as a whole. And uh, those are the things that we look at and say, hey, this is what we're trying to come back we're trying to let everybody know from a nutritional standpoint. We're trying to let everybody know to be a little more active. Just walk if you can't run. Just to do something about what we're dealing with. And once everybody gets that, then we'll start to see a difference. Athletic position. And go. Fast arms, fast arms, fast arms. Good, 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 good. Quick, 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 quick. And rest. Good, good, good. Okay, everybody right where you are, there's one thing that I'm challenging you to do as we continue to talk about this movement. I'm challenging prep and all the student body and all the teachers, I'm challenging you to continue to take it to the next level. What is the next level? The next level is going full speed at everything you do. You got your homework? Do all your homework. When you're in the classroom, you're paying attention. It's taking it to the next level in every aspect of your life. Your family, religious beliefs, your work ethic in the classroom, your work ethic in everything that you do. Before we go, we're gonna break it down on next level. But before we do that, we have the check presentation. I'm glad Sheila reminded me. This is Ms. Sheila Grogan from Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Mississippi Foundation, passing the two week winning check over to Coach Walker. All right, Prep, on three, I want everybody to yell next level. I'll scream one, two, three, and you yell next level. One, two, three. I'm very emotional about what, what I do and very passionate about it. And I get to see this, you know, every, every week 
and as y'all have given me the opportunity to, to perform these challenges, what have you seen that has been rewarding for you as you've been a part of this? I think that the Fit for Change program, the Fit for Teaching program, and all of the other programs that the foundation has the wonderful opportunity of investing in are supporting our vision of a healthier Mississippi. We are seeing measurable outcomes with these programs. We know that the individuals that are participating in all of the programs that we invest in are healthier. They're taking accountability for their, their own health, and by taking charge of their own health, they'll lead longer, healthier, more productive lives. A big, big factor for me in coming to speak with y'all and trying to find uh, someone, a, a company in Mississippi that is as passionate as Paula Call Sports is in a healthier Mississippi. And I've found that in Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi Foundation. And I, I knew I'd found it when I came on your campus and y'all are leading by example there. And you have now challenged the legislators to lead by example, and again, now with the teachers leading by example. And when you drive down Lakeland Drive, you see people on your campus exercising. That's, that's what we're looking for for our state. As we continue this passionate move for a healthier Mississippi, what drives you personally? What drives me personally is the knowledge that I have the privilege of working for a company, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Mississippi, whose focus is on health and wellness. It's a message that we not only promote, it's something that we as employees live. It's something that's um, promoted and believed in by our company. We truly have a desire for all Mississippians to become healthier. How much did you weigh? I weighed, I, I would say I was about 338, almost 340 pounds, and 5'3". How much weight have you lost now? I've lost um, 168, 163, something like that. It kind of goes back and forth between th three and eight. You bought something here, here today. Yes, uh, I always bring my pants. You know, uh, I want to ask you something. Uh huh. <laughs> what what would you like to tell this girl? You know, that girl just didn't have any faith in herself. That girl did not believe that she could do this. And you did. Yeah. You believed it. Well, you have done it through hard, hard work. Yeah. Super hard work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. You are uh, one of the most driven people I've ever had the opportunity to train. No. You're, you're passionate about it. You have brought your, your friends into this program. You've brought your family into this program. Yes. Um, I believe that this is a lifestyle for you. Oh, definitely, yeah. Do you think you'll ever, ever go back to oh, where no, you were? Oh, no, never. And I used to be afraid. I mean, because obviously I've been overweight so much longer than I've led a healthy lifestyle. Um, and I used to be afraid of that, but I'm, I'm not afraid anymore because, I mean, you know, I know what it takes now because of your program. And, you know, when somebody is that broken, I don't think that people get it, that it takes extreme measures to get things working again. You know, that just, you know, I mean, I used to, I can remember, you know, I, I'd have like an elderly patient or something and they would say, honey, you just need to walk. You just need to walk to that stop sign and back. And I was yeah. like, well, I wonder how she thinks I got in here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> does she think somebody wheels me in? Yeah. But, but now, you know, that, that obviously I was somewhat active, but I was not, it wasn't enough to make changes. And your program is, it's that whole next level thing. It pushes you to do enough to make changes, to make 
physical changes that you see and emotional changes that you don't see, which are just as important and mental changes, like the mental toughness that you talk about and the, um, you know, just, uh, you definitely do find everybody's number and you've got mine <laughs> for sure. <laughs> nice y'all, nice. Don't forget, today's weigh-in day. I tell folks who ask me about it, you know, when they want to know how, how I accomplished it and, you know, what I got from it, that kind of thing. Uh, more than the weight being gone, you know, the, the new ability, you know, the, the energy that you have there today, the way, the way your kids look at you. Um, my oldest is 15. She's never seen me this size. Never. So it's, you know, to her, it's like, not that I got a dad back. It's, you know, I got a dad who's probably going to walk me down the aisle now because the way I was going, I wasn't going to be around to. Right. Uh, you know, I was each day, each week, each month, each year, every meal, I was literally taking time off my life. And Paul Lacoste program and Blue Cross sponsoring it, legislature coming together, it, it added years to my life. There's no doubt about that. Joshua, it's time to rotate. Good, 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 good. 